All right, guys, about to change the oil on my 2014 GMC Sierra all-terrain. It's got the 5.3 in it. I think it takes about 10 quarts. I'm gonna show you the oil you need, the filter you need, where the drain is, where the uh, filter is, and uh, where I jacked it up. Okay, so here, 2014 model. This is the first time I've changed the oil on it. Um, Basically, I put my uh, jack on each of the A-arms right behind the wheel and jacked up each A-arm one at a time, got it high enough, and put the jack stand under it. So they're both super well secure under there. I used uh, this Pittsburgh floor jack, which works really well, surprisingly. Okay guys, I'm underneath the truck. You can see there's the jack stands. Got my skid plate right here. This oil filter is super easy to get to, which is really nice. So, uh, and then here is your drain bolt right here. I'm hoping it's a 15. So for all you metric guys like me, uh, it is a 15. It's not perfectly snug, but it'll be fine to get it off and back on. Um, I'm sure you standard guys will let me know that I'm doing it wrong and that there's a better wrench for it. And I'm sure there is, but I'm a metric guy. All my tools in this side of the garage are metric because I'm normally working on Japanese motorcycles. Ow. That exhaust is hot, fellas. Okay, uh, Matt, I didn't mention before I have warmed up the, I have warmed up the engine to make sure it'll drain a lot easier. So I've got my plastic tub here. Hopefully it'll hold 10 quarts. And I'm gonna back this puppy off and get it draining. She's draining now, fellas. About this time I'm wishing I would've brought the uh, new oil filter under here with me, but I did not, so. So I'll be crawling back in again. Okay. With the help of an oil filter wrench, if I would have really cranked hard, it probably would have came off without the wrench, but uh, man, that was nice. I'm gonna take my new filter and grab just a little oil on top of it. Keep that seal good. Go ahead and yank this off. Obviously, always wear gloves when you do this. All right, well, since this hand is drenched in oil, I'm gonna use my other hand to uh, get that filter screwed back up on there, so stay tuned. Okay, for oil, you need something like this full synthetic 020. This is the Senpower uh, Valvoline. It's Dexos approved. Uh, the oil filter the oil filter is just STP S1059 0 ML so pretty cheap I picked up 10, uh, 10 quarts and 2 oil filters for about 60 bucks so really not that bad Okay, there's your oil fill right there, guys. Now, guys, depending on who you talk to, this truck takes either eight or eight and a half quarts. 
Most of the guys will tell you that it was originally eight and that GMC later came out and superseded that to eight and a half. Um, I've put about eight and a half in mine right now. I'm um, going to put it on the upper side because it, it it does burn oil, guys. I don't know why. I've been told it's because the active the active fuel management where it switches from four to eight cylinders. Uh, I don't know if that's true or whatever, but I noticed that uh, just in the seven or eight months I've had this truck, I put about eight thousand miles on it, and uh, through that it burned around three to four quarts of oil just in that time. So I'm going to put eight and a half in it, see where it sits. And uh, I'm going to keep this jug in my truck and top it off as I need to. Thanks. All right, now, of course, we want to reset that annoying thing. So. And boom, it's as simple as that. Anybody else love this black interior and these all-terrains?